Okay, um, at this point, we're going to have some closing with our directors, and I'll start right there with uh, Sharon. Thank you all for coming, and as you see, it is very important that you yourself run your community, become your city, keep the money in our city, and we will become a city in February, because we want to keep our city rule and the way we want to build it, we do not want to be a rubber stamp. And before we finish up with the rest of the comments, after you eat, roam around and talk to your different <coughs> ones that are running, your candidates. My husband and I will be here afterwards if anybody wants to go into the canteen and have anything else to drink. <laughs> I like that. But we do want to talk with our candidates first and listen to the closing remarks of the others. Again, thank you for coming. If you have any questions, you will all filter through me and I'll respond from the WCC secretary. Thank you for coming with an open mind. And if you have questions or comments, please come and let me know. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. You know, we spend a, a Sunday. You know? <clears throat> I go to a lot of meetings, and today's, you know, today's candidates, uh, uh, you know, uh, know, what, you know what you stand for, and you know why you want to be here, and why you want to be a, a city council. I think it's great. Uh, you know, just talk to them. This is this is a place to, uh, you know, for networking, and I think it is great that, that we have this type of meetings that we can. Uh, have the, the opportunity to uh, listen to what they believe and what they stand for. So uh, I want to say thank you uh, for being here and, and for us to be able to provide you this type of uh, forum. Thank you. I also want to thank you for coming tonight and I just want to ask you please, we have, like I said, it's yours now, run with it. Please talk to your neighbors, your friends. Because we want next meetings to have standing room only or spill out in the garage or the parking lot and uh, have everybody in the community to see what's going on and get informed because there's a lot of people still in our community that haven't heard about this thing, what's going on. So please get involved and do your share of talking to all your neighbors, just talk to the trees, people, whatever, you do. just get them all involved. So that would be a great help to all of us. Thank you. I just want to reiterate that next meeting is going to be very important. So if you could go out and get your neighbors and families to attend uh, our January 15th meeting, uh, I think uh, it'll be a little bit more expansive. You can probably get some better understanding of the candidates that might be running your future city. So uh, there are almost 27,000 people in Baltimore, and we've been doing this for six years. And this actually is a good turnout, but unfortunately, uh, we need more of you out there. Historically, only a third of the people get the newspaper in Wildemar, and only a third vote. So if we can get the message to get out and vote and get to our meetings and be educated, it would really help. I can add this until three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second meeting that I've been to, and it's been a privilege serving with this group. I've been following this group for a whole lot more years than that. But uh, I, I look forward, uh, hopefully, the meeting on January 15th. It's at David A. Brown, 7 p.m. Hopefully, we can fill the place up. Hopefully, we can get all of the candidates there, because we, we still haven't had a forum yet where all of them are here. It'd be nice to be able to hear everybody straight from their mouths to see where they're their stance is and where, where they want to go to. And I just uh, want to thank everybody for coming here and, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to eat. <laughs>